Hey guys, welcome to the arcade and thank you very much for joining me. And today is a bit different because I've made a sort of a different kind of pickup than I normally would for for the 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 arcade. Um, you might be able to see it behind me for anyone who's eagle-eyed. So that's how we do it, shall we? So <laughs> this is it here. It is a fucking massive. Uh, what would you call it? Like a fruit machine or a slot machine? No. It was um, going up on, what was the site called? Free cycle or something along those lines. Uh, basically, girl doing a spring clean. Her grandfather had picked up two of these machines when his local was closing and never did anything with it. Just sort of put it out in a shed and it's, it, it's sat there. Now, other than the dust and everything on it, and she was missing the power cord. Um, you can see there's a wee bit of scraping just around the, the side that can be easily touched up. There's a bit of water damage on the bottom, so I'm going to replace all that. Uh, hopefully give it a, a pretty decent clean up, bit of a paint. Uh, I can find a power cord easy enough to get it working, or, or at least to try and power it on. And if it doesn't work, what I'm going to do then is um, tinker around with it. So yeah. That's kind of the plan anyway. I kind of always wanted to pick one of these things up just to see if I could sort of mess around with it, learn a wee bit of the internals, how it all works together, what have you. And like I say, generally tinker with it, see if I can get it up and running because I'm kind of interested in all these things now. I'd love to get myself a full-sized arcade machine as well and do the same. And maybe someday I will be able to, but for now, this thing is, I think it's gonna do me quite well and be a nice wee project. So like I say, first things first, get it all cleaned up, get a power cord into it, see if it will actually power on. Um, oh, that was one thing as well. So they did say that they didn't have the key. However, the key seems to be in there. Now, I, I can't actually turn it or anything like that. So either it's not the right key and it's kind of fused in there or it is the right key and just the lock is seized. So I'll, Give it a few bumps, uh, spray it with WD-40, see if I can get the, the grips onto it and see if it will twist. If not, I'll try and yank the key out and I'll just drill the lock and see if we can get into it. So that's gonna be me for the next little bit. So hopefully we'll be able to get something out of this, you know, a bit of a video anyway. Uh, if I can get it to life, that would be fantastic. And what I'll probably do is, I'll keep it for a little bit and then maybe sell it on. I think so. I would really love to learn how these things work just so I could, you know, maybe pick up another one at some point and, and do do the same. So yeah, this will be a learning experience for me over the next couple of months, I reckon. Anyway, hopefully you'll join me on the, the, the journey here. Keep watching and we'll see how, uh, how far we get with it. Thanks guys. So I've been working on it for a couple of hours now. Just really just cleaning everything everything up so hit it with um uh what would you call it uh white vinegar spray just to try and get all the the, the dirt and the gunk and all everything that was kicked onto so it's come up really really nice i'm very pleased with it um the sides and all uh, it's allowed me to see sort of where the damage is and it's all superficial at best um was able to get that key freed up, which has allowed me into the power supply unit. So I have got a power cord, which I've powered on. So we are getting power to parts, I would say. So there's a the digital counter up here. When the power is on, it turns on. The speaker, I can hear a like pop from it as if something is restarting, but there's no lights or anything to the reels. So something is up there. Uh, in order to get into it, I have to get in in here. So I've got to get this key turned to release this latch, which then allows everything to move up. Unfortunately, that key, uh, that key lock or whatever, is different from the one that was on that one. So I can't get into it. So not the moment anyway. So what I've done is I uh, bought myself a uh, tubular lock pick. Um, so I'm hopeful that I can get into it using this. I'm gonna give it a couple of tries, uh, see what 
what I can do with it. Worst, worst case scenario is I'll have to drill that lock out, which I don't really want to do because I want to keep it as, as good condition as, as possible. But if it's only like a tubular lock, I should be able to get through it, get it opened up and then just replace the lock and have a, a, a proper working key for it which I might actually do with the bottom one as well because that bottom one is a bit rusted. So yeah, overall, over and all, I'm quite pleased with how it's looking. Um, there's a crack on that button there so that can be replaced. That button is a bit loose. Um, that can be tightened up once I get in. It really is just the, the threading on the back. So that just needs tightened up. Everything else looks in very, very good order. So it has survived quite well from for being locked in a shed for all this time. Um, I'm quite pleased. So yeah, next up, I'll try picking the lock. If not, I will drill it out and we'll get under the hood and and see what's wrong. But hopefully it's not nothing too serious, but I won't know until I get under there and, and find out. Anyway, that's for another time. I will see you again very soon. Thanks very much for joining me. Take care out there. Bye-bye.